Hello and welcome back my beautiful people to the Curtis Price channel, the channel where we can talk about any sort of topic and still manage to make you people laugh. <laughs> and I mean this when I say it, my jokes tend to kill <laughs> every relationship I've ever had with anyone. But today my friends we are going to be talking about lovely peaches. Although if you see my last video from seven months ago, you know she is quite the opposite from lovely. I mean lovely in the sense if you were to step on a six and a half inch plywood nail. Yep, yeah, doesn't sound too lovely now does it? However if you haven't seen my last video I imagine you are probably wondering who this interesting specimen is. So allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to give you a showcase through the whole journey. That was me riding a bicycle. And as they say in Wales, show my pen peeden. If you really want to know what that means in English, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and ask me yourself. <laughs> but listen up everyone, we are on 70,000 subscribers and with your guys' help, we might actually be able to get to 80,000 by the end of this month. I need to prove to my mum that YouTube is a viable thing for me, so please subscribe. <laughs> so lovely peaches, you, you, you really want to go there, don't you? <laughs> Oh, it's my friend Baymax, by the way. He's going to be sitting in for the rest of this video. Isn't that right, Baymax? He doesn't talk much. Lovely Peaches, an influencer who had their rise of fame in 2017 when they were just 16 years old. However, what you are looking at, my friends, is a human who well and truly crossed the line. A woman who has no moral compass. However, her past persona on social media came off as this strong, comedic, confident, sexy woman. <laughs> well, that's definitely one sentence for it. Here's a suggestion. How about we start off with strong, and I'm sure you'll understand the full definition soon, just as I did. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Oh, and this, this is my wife's dildo. She would kill me if I, if she saw me playing with this. I'm just kidding. I don't have a wife. <laughs> oh, fuck it up. <laughs> What's wrong? You okay? You okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? Ah yes, strangling her boyfriend. You are very strong, Peaches. But you know what's cool these days, you know? Uh, abusive violence. You know, that, that's what's cool, according to Peaches. Uh, she decides to abuse her boyfriend and put it on camera while choking him out. Did he enjoy it? Maybe, I'm not sure. You know, she almost killed a man, and that man being her boyfriend. So you see where I'm going with strong here? You know, she's one fucking bull, you know what I mean? And you know, it's not the enjoyable type of choking where, you know, you're a uh, new girlfriend and you <laughs> I'm so happy right now because I'm going to kill my own baby. Um, I've already made people have sex with her and I'm going to kill her tonight. Ah, yes. Comedy. Of course, because, you know, you pretending to uh, kill your own baby is very comedic. <laughs> that was a good one. But it's just a glimpse into what Lovely Peaches is like, you know? I mean, that that's her comedy. She's a very comedic woman. Pretending to kill her own child, you know, and put it on the internet that uh, she's been selling her baby to uh, uh, sex traffickers. Getting people to, uh, you know, R-A-P-E her baby. Not just that, but also admitting to abusing her baby because, you know, her baby would cry during the night so Peaches would go up to her and, and, and pinch her. Oh, fucking random, but okay. And you know, I did speak about it in my video that I previously made on it about seven months ago. So if you want to check that out, you can, you know, be my guest. But not to worry, ladies and gentlemen, because her baby is, in fact, safe. That's right. Lovely Peaches made the entire thing up because she thought it would be funny. Yeah, that's comedy, everyone, in 2020. I am from a time, ladies and gentlemen, when knock-knock jokes are funny. Let's give it a try, shall we? Knock-knock. Who's there? Joe. Joe who, right? Joe Mama! <laughs> Got him good, boys. Got him good. Oh, if you'd like to see some more of her comedy as well, she also does stand-up, believe it or not. Uh, similar to what I'm doing right now, uh, she's a bit more successful, unfortunately. Stop it, bitch! <laughs> but no, apparently, you know, that's comedy as well, you know, beating yourself up, you know, having arguments with yourself. Oh my god, I'm so intimidated. But apparently that's funny, according to Lovely Peaches. But that's how she actually drew her audience, you know, pretending to, you know, have fights with each other. However, um, I just don't find uh, that uh, funny and I don't understand how you have over a million followers. Maybe it's because you pretended to kill your own child, maybe, and it caused a lot of, you know, controversy on the internet. Oh, there we are. Bad clout is still clout, as they say. Well, it's not good if you have almost been arrested. Yeah, it's not really good, is it? I 
Ah yes, confidence. Now when we talk about confidence, you think of maybe dressing well, shoulders back, being able to stand up on stage and present yourself extremely well, and uh, let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, that's one way of putting it. Lovely Peaches would present herself on social media to everyone, um, by eating her own shit. That's right. She would also take pictures of her toilet and the business in the toilet and post it on Instagram for everyone to see. Not just that, but she also decides to, uh, can't even bother to say this, but, um, she likes to, uh, suck on her own tampons. Yes, that's right. Uh, used as well, by the way. I forgot to mention that part. They were used tampons. She decides to, um... It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Baymax cover your ears. Ah, sexy. Now let's talk about what sexy means. My girlfriend, that's what's sexy. Nothing else. I don't think anything else is sexy. Just my girlfriend. Everything else is bad. My girlfriend is sexy. I don't find anything else attractive, I promise. The lovely Peaches, however, she thinks, um... Well, actually, I'll just let you see for yourself. I feel violated. Um, that is terrifying. Uh, you're making out with dogs? Surely that's animal abuse. Again, something that's not exactly, you know, morally right to do. Yes. In all seriousness, when we talk about Lovely Peaches, she's just a strange individual. We don't know the true reason why she's like this. Does she have some issues growing up? Does she have maybe, you know, um, a couple of screws loose in the brain, you know? Well, I'm not sure. We, we don't know why she's like this, uh, but she is, and that's the reality of it. She's basically a commentary channel's wet dream. <laughs> but now, ladies and gentlemen, that I've spoken about what happened with her past and, you know, everything I covered in my last video, except I twisted it a little bit, you know? I, I uh, added some few extra bits in and uh, laid it out a little bit differently so it's more light-hearted and fun. <laughs> Did you enjoy? Great. Now let's talk about the now, as that's what's important. The future doesn't matter, the past doesn't matter. What matters is now. So let's talk about that. <laughs> so Charlie D'Amelio, a newly turned 16 year old girl who is in fact the biggest star on TikTok. And for some reason, ladies and gentlemen, Lovely Peaches decided to try and cross paths with young Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie went live on Instagram and there she was, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely Peaches in the comment section. Police sirens, so if you can hear them. Uh, quite convenient actually, considering what we're talking about right now, don't you think? What was she saying, you might ask? Well, she was saying all sorts of things. Uh, some sexual comments to a 16 year old girl. Talking about sex toys and uh, shit like that. It's not at all appropriate really, because then she's 16 and it's a bit creepy. Um, you shouldn't have a platform, Lovely Peaches. In fact, you shouldn't be on here at all. Your child is only 16 and Lovely Peaches can sit there and make these comments in front of everyone thinking it's okay. Talking about sex toys. I mean, I know I've stolen this dildo from my wife, like, but... You know, that would be like a 19-year-old bloke going up to a girl in school and sat talking about sex and sex toys and fucking. It's not exactly uh, something you do, is it? And why not? Because it's not morally right. However, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, it does in fact get worse. It never gets better, if you've noticed. It always gets worse. And it got worse when Lovely Peaches decided to say this. Lovely peaches, and I found the perfect 30 year old man, black man that's gonna the f out of Charlie. Oh, right <laughs> Did you get the pictures of the girls? Yeah, yeah. If y'all know where Charlie is located, leave her in the comments below because I paid this grown man to Charlie. Oh, peaches, peaches, peaches. We need to check the expiry date on this one. Fuck me. So there it was right there, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely Peaches saying that she has apparently hired a man to find Charlie D'Amelio and, in fact, force himself on her. I know I'm making my content more lighthearted, but what kind of sick person does that? What kind of sick person says something like that? This girl is 16. Are you all right? And it's the fact that you found it funny that's not funny. Uh, do you know what I find funny? The amount of shit you talk. <laughs> yeah, it's quite ironic, isn't it? Because you eat shit. <laughs> funny, isn't it? <laughs> and you know, ladies and gentlemen, she was even sending out tweets asking for Charlie's location. And then she did, in fact, confirm that she knew exactly where Charlie D'Amelio was and that she had sent someone after her. And it's the fact she was even, like, asking for her location. But you know what the funny thing is about this is that it's probably not even true. And I know you're going to be sitting there, oh, what do you mean it's not fucking true? Don't forget that she is, in fact, an internet troll. And considering the fact that Charlie D'Amelio is, in fact, safe, 
I'm calling bullshit. The guy that she was probably talking about in that video was probably her low-life boyfriend, where they sit there all day and live and breathe in toxicity. Which is actually funny because um, there's some rumours going about right now that she has been arrested. Uh, we do not know yet at the time of filming this video, but she may have been arrested and, and if so... Well, what do you want to say? I, I, don't, I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Uh, if she'd been arrested... Cool. Fucking class. Now, a couple of little comments at the end here. Uh, she also walked into McDonald's and started uh, uh, twerking in front of a child. Yes, that's right. Uh, in, in McDonald's. I don't know if it was McDonald's, actually. It may have been uh, one of the other restaurants. Um, Chick-fil-A, maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's just the fact that she was sadistically laughing uh, when the guy said there's a child in here. There is something wrong with her, guys. I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with her. And, um, you know, whatever that is, it might be a past issue where she was growing up as a child or, you know, some trauma maybe that changed her. Maybe, you know, something like that. But there's something not right. <laughs> and I know it took me less long to say it, but there's something not right about this woman. She's also uploaded a music video as well. Um, yes, yeah, so sorry, a music video. Doing all this crisis that uh, she's been creating for herself. And let me tell you, it's... Uh, it's quite something. Now, I don't mean to be nasty, but the fact that this is her song and that she's like, you know, the main strong character in, it, in the music video, I find it quite funny because when I look at her, all I see is someone who went to an audition and just failed first time. Like, they're the person, you know, wasn't accepted, you know, like, straight away, you know. When you, when you think of someone that wasn't accepted for a, an audition for a music video, lovely peaches. That's, uh, that's the, the, the first thing that comes to mind. But look, I hope you enjoyed the video, honestly. I'm going for more light-hearted stuff, as you can see, more comedic value, because I want to make people laugh within lockdown. It sucks. Everyone's miserable, so let me make you laugh. Please, for fuck's sake, please. I'm going through a rough time right now. But yes, without further ado, subscribe to my channel. Let's get to 80k by the end of the month. Follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. I'm going to bike again. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh. You mad, bro? Uh. If you don't know what comes to mind when I see that video, it's uh, it's auto asphyxiate. Then, what might that be? You might ask. Well, it's uh, it's when you it's when you choke and 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 also masturbate at the same time. So, sorry, Baymax. Shh. That was fucking weird. <laughs>